you open the program up and it, it's got this word create here, which to me that's the big selling point. It is such a good creative tool. So I'm going to click on the word create and there's all these buttons down the bottom. So there are four main categories of buttons. The first one allows you to decide what sort of comic book you want to have. You know, what is it going to look like? So now my comic's got four squares and I can either take a camera image or I can use an image that I've got already on my computer or on my iPad. So if I want to take an image, I click on the camera and um, I'll just take an image of this, this and say I'll use that. And so that'll go into the first comic and take another photo over here. Okay, so we've got our four photos and this is where the program's really powerful. If you can see in the top right hand corner of each photo, there's a little FX button. So you click the FX button and you've got all of these different tools that you can use. So I might say, well, if I make it a manga type photo, like a Japanese cartoon, she'll probably be happy of being a manga in that. And this group over here, we'll just make them into a, like a poster. So once again, the kids' creativity can be there within seconds. I'll leave the top two like they are for now, but I could click on them as well. Then if I click on the word create, then the second thing that you've got after you've got your templates is your captions. So I've got something there where I could put in a story about um, IKC workshop. And when it's done, once again, it's got a little F button at the end there. So if I click on it, I can change the size. So I might make it as big as I can and so on. I can move it around on the screen if I hold down on it and just push it around where exactly I want it. Then I can also choose little speech bubbles if I wanted to. So I could have a little speech bubble and, you know, and so I could just, I'll just put hmm for now. But, you know, you can put in little speech bubbles. So if you were doing a step-by-step -step process, it might be step one, take the flower and the water, you know, and have a picture of that. Step two, and you've got your little comic-y sort of things. Then the next thing across is the stickers. And it, this is how they make their money. They've got all these sticker things that you can buy, but there are some built-in stickers. So if I click on built-in, these are the built-in stickers. So I might look through those built-in stickers and say, oh, awesome. Everything here has been awesome. So when I put the sticker on there, I can click once on it or tap once on it with my finger and I can make it bigger. I can resize the angle for it. And when I'm happy with it, I just click on the awesome button and then I can move that exactly where I want and I'm starting to put together my poster. And then the final thing under the create button is this thing here, which allows you to whack it up onto Facebook or something like that, but also just to save it. And if I save it, it's now in my camera roll, which means I can put it as the front cover of my book, as the uh, 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 thing in my movie, as something. You know, so once again, we're getting all of these things linked together. You can email it, you can save it as a PDF. If, you, if you've got your center set up the right way, you can even print it. One of those things is to print. Thank you.